Cutthroat Tactics, Navigating the Ruthless Side of Competition. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating English phrase, Cutthroat Tactics. This phrase is commonly used in various contexts, from business to sports, and understanding it can really enrich your English vocabulary. Let's explore what it means, its origins, and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. First, let's break down the word cutthroat. It's a compound word, combining cut and throat. Originally, it was used literally to describe a murderer or criminal, someone who would cut another's throat. Over time, its meaning evolved to describe anything extremely ruthless or merciless. When we use cutthroat in modern English, we're usually not talking about actual violence, but rather a kind of aggressive competitiveness. Now, let's focus on the phrase cutthroat tactics. Tactics refer to the methods or strategies one uses to achieve a goal. So, cutthroat tactics are methods that are particularly ruthless, aggressive, and often unethical. They're used in situations where someone is willing to do almost anything to win or succeed, even if it means harming others or being unfair. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. 1. In a business context, a company might use cutthroat tactics like undercutting competitors' prices drastically to monopolize the market. 2. In a personal scenario, Someone might spread false rumors about a colleague to get a promotion, which is a cutthroat tactic. 3. In sports, a team might play overly aggressively, ignoring the rules or the safety of others, to win a game. Here are some sentences to help you use this phrase effectively. The election campaign is getting more intense, with both sides employing cutthroat tactics to win votes. I prefer to avoid the stock market. It's full of cutthroat tactics and high risks. She realized that to survive in the corporate world, she might have to learn some cutthroat tactics. So, that's all about cutthroat tactics. It's a powerful phrase that describes a harsh, competitive strategy where the end justifies the means. I hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase confidently in your conversations. Remember, learning English is not just about words, but also about the cultural and contextual meanings behind them. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.